everybody. Uh, fortunately, I don't have my headset now, so I hope the sound quality is not too bad for this video. And yeah, I'm driving home in uh, pretty darn hot weather. And yeah, I thought I'll give you a short update of what's gonna happen in the next few days on this channel and also on my blog. So, and then I decided to not only make this as an update, but also give you a little bit my view of how I think the leaks are going to go at least the big five ones I mean it's not that <laughs> it's not that hard anyway to predict who's gonna win those but yeah uh, let's go straight ahead um, into some updates tomorrow I'm going on a vacation for uh, 10 days and I'm not sure or I'm actually quite sure that I won't be able to make regular videos but what I did is I shot a lot of videos over the past few days um, that I schedule and I make it that on every day there will be two new videos um, hopefully I can do this until the 21st the day that I'm coming home or maybe even a little bit beyond that so uh, the videos will be uh, my jersey reviews of the big five leagues at least the ones that I could find up until today so far um, you've already seen my Premier League uh, review of jerseys there is now the league I just posted today the two parts those are a little bit longer I tried to go faster through league I and I saw it didn't work so for Serie A which will be the next one uh, I made four parts, but there are so many jerseys missing that I'm sure there will be a fifth and a sixth part coming and Similar goes for uh, La Liga where I did similar stuff. I uh, also have four videos in the can uh, previewing most of the jerseys But again, there are even teams missing same thing in Italy. Uh, I mean, they're all not the big teams but you know I want to be complete if I can do every team in England I should be able to do every team in all the other leagues as well and if you saw league uh, there were also I think I had only 15 14 or 15 teams out of 20 so more to come I promise uh, but those will come at a later point they are not coming um, immediately I'm eyeing actually somewhere September that I will look into these well um, but if you do the math, if I want to really publish two videos uh, over the next 10 days, um, just uh, the eight uh, review videos for Serie A and for La Liga won't do it. I will try tonight to get the Bundesliga in, um, but I'm not sure if I will be able to post this. Uh, I want to pack. Uh, I want to at least get the house a little bit in order so when we return the whole family my kids and my wife are already at the vacation place so when this is done uh, you know when we come, come come back it doesn't look like a complete mess because that's never nice coming home to a messy house and so yeah um, I'll try to get the Bundesliga videos done uh, which are a challenge uh, per se because for the Premier League although I didn't do it then uh, but already for La Li uh, for Liga Serie A and La Liga I could make the background on my set really nicely with you know all Spanish jerseys uh, that I have or most of them same thing with Italian ones and French ones I mean the French ones you probably have already seen uh, having scarves for the Bundesliga I neither own a Germany shirt nor do I own any Bundesliga team shirt I only have three scarves and one and a half of these are from a team that's not even playing even in the second Bundesliga that would be 1860 Munich but that was the team that I really liked and if I would have a jersey from the Bundesliga it would be probably from 1860 Munich seriously uh, but yeah no. so I will put that one up there and then yeah I think I probably put some shirts from other leagues like I've done for the Premier League and I don't know what I'll be wearing it won't be anything German that's for sure but let's see how I will see. if I if I will get to it and how it will go uh, for to be able to post this 
Yeah, and then there are still some videos missing, so I decided, uh, like with the Premier League and Ligue 1, to run through some of the jerseys that I own of these leagues. I'm not, except for Serie A, where I am a huge Milan fan. Milan is my second, or I would even say my co-favorite team, together with the uh, local team here in Linz, Lusk, which is, I would say it is my 1A and Milan is my 1B team. I like both of them almost equally and chances are they will never meet. Uh, although, who knows? Who knows? Stranger things have happened in life. But yeah. So I own a lot of Milan jerseys and I'm not gonna go through all of them, although that would be a cheap way of getting through uh, having you even until well after my vacation, but I thought this might be a little bit overkill. So I only did three Milan jerseys that are somewhat special, but you know, I have a few others. I mean, every one of them is a special and uh, for Lusk, Italy and Milan kids, Especially for these, they're all like my children. All of my jerseys are like my children, but those uh, of those three, I really have a very special connection in a way. So yeah, so after my Serie A uh, review, there will be a lot of jersey reviews. I actually have eight jerseys that I'm gonna review, three of which are Milan and the rest you will see. Spoiler too much, but there will be a few and then we'll go to, to the La Liga and um, This should be uh, All before Serie A and La Liga start even with uh, reviewing the four La Liga jerseys that I have So yeah, that's sort of the program for now now of course previewing uh, reviewing the jerseys and kind of thinking about these leagues I think I owe it <laughs> to you and I also give you what I think uh, those leaks are gonna look like and I'm gonna concentrate on the top uh, I'm not that much of an insider in either one of these these days that I can tell you who I think will go down um, and it's mainly down to my focus I think for the World Cup I have a much, had a much better over overview but you know keeping track of all these transfers these days uh, gets a little bit hard, harder for me. I hope that once the kids get uh, older and things a little bit more settled overall that this won't be that big of a problem anymore. So let's get straight to it. Uh, let's start with the uh, leagues that are starting uh, this weekend and let's get to League A because first it's not the biggest one but it's in a way the easiest of them all. Paris Saint-Germain is gonna win Liga. I don't see any way that Liga cannot be won by Paris Saint-Germain. Uh, and it has not even to do with Gigi Buffon not being in goal for Paris Saint-Germain. Actually, the big focus for Paris Saint-Germain will be to win the Champions League. And I'm not even sure if Buffon was necessarily the best acquisition there. There's he is an icon, he is a wonderful uh, goalkeeper. Even at 40, he's still among the very, very best. However, I would have gone for a younger goalkeeper that you know you can have for longer. I also find it odd, you know, Juventus is going for the Champions League, Paris Saint Germain is going for the Champions League, and Buffon is switching Juve Juventus for Paris Saint Germain. It doesn't sound right to me. Uh, imagine they play in the final against each other. Imagine that. It just doesn't seem right. But yeah. Paris Saint-Germain, then I guess Monaco or Marseille will be the favorites for second and third places. I think Marseille had a great showing in Europe. I mean, they made it to the final. Um, I always hope that some other team will get in there. I'm the, Looking at you, Bordeaux, I really hope that Nantes could do something, but I'm not very optimistic about that uh, thing that they are just promoted. But you know, maybe Nantes 
stay at least in the league. Uh, I told you that in my league I previewed that Nantes is kind of this. I have a soft spot for him. Um, but you know, all the cathedral teams, other than Nantes, and kind of the teams from Brittany, Bretagne, are teams that I usually like. I mean, the uh, league has a cathedral league. You have Emia, great cathedral. You have Strasbourg in there, great cathedral. Then uh, Caen, maybe not that well known of a ca cathedral, but really nice old town. Ah, I forgot Stade Reims. I really want Stade Reims to stay in the league. This is such a, such a um, traditional club for France. Absolute must that they are staying there. But yeah, that's all on Liga. I think it was pretty easy. The Premier League is a little bit more interesting. I'm, I mean, it's. The two Manchester teams will be favored to be first and second. And I actually think that Manchester City is again the team to beat. Um, I don't know if Manchester United keeps playing the boring soccer they've been playing uh, last two seasons. No one wants to see them. I mean, there's so much potential in there, but it's almost like France, except that it's the Premier League, it's not the World Cup where you, for seven games, you can be excused. Um, I actually want Liverpool to go really far in that competition, meaning uh, and finish really high. Um, they made the splash, uh, so I actually think they should try, they will try to go for the title. They have beaten Manchester City in the head-to-head, -head, so I think they feel confident going against Manchester City and I think it's also interesting Club against uh, Guardiola, two different but equally attractive styles of soccer clashing. So yeah, that's gonna be interesting. But it's gonna be a northern affair. I don't see Chelsea going anywhere. I don't see Arsenal going anywhere. Uh, the one thing I have to say for Tottenham, they are probably the London team that can threaten most. Um, is that while they didn't have any additions or subtractions to, to the squad, uh, that might that could be actually a strength because they might uh, be already on the go, and maybe that's what can work well for Tottenham. Also, there is this pattern with Manchester City: one year great, another team not, another year not so great. So yeah, uh, that's gonna be interesting. Will Manchester City have an off year? And probably it will be Tottenham or Liverpool that got, would pounce on that one. Um, both teams would deserve to win the league uh, after all these years. Um, Arsenal, I think, should be happy if they make the international spots. I, and, you know, then there are the teams that I really like. We like Fulham and Newcastle, but they are both being promoted. I would love if, the, if one of these could make a splash and as long as Leicester doesn't get relegated, I'm also happy. Yeah, well, those are my cents for now on the Premier League. Um, next one. Let's do the Premier Division before we go to Italy. Um, Premier Division, I think it starts and stops with Barcelona. Um, I know that Real Madrid probably wants to uh, go for the title, but honestly, they had a change of coach and they lost their talisman in Ronaldo. I mean, this is the first time in a long time that Barcelona Real Madrid doesn't have this additional dimension Messi against Ronaldo. It still will be very exciting. I mean, it's the two most expensive teams in the world, um, so I cannot see anything else but the very loaded atmosphere but you know you have Lopetegi coming in uh, he needs to kind of uh, get things straight I'm actually not sure whether he will last at Real Madrid that long they have a really bad track record uh, with coaches especially Spanish coaches that come in and take over and you know you saw him with Angelotti he in the first year it was great in the second year they just didn't go it was still a great season all, all, all overall, but he was fired, so yeah. It's gonna be interesting. I actually 
see Atletico Madrid as the big danger team. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised and actually if I look at it, I know Barcelona has some pieces in place but um, when I look at Barcelona from last season, uh, if Messi didn't have a great form, he didn't have as much support from his teammates, I had the feeling. And this Barcelona squad looks a little bit thin and I'm actually sorry, Barcelona should have more, should go back to their youth ways. They are buying players left and right. I mean, Coutinho is a great player. Um, I'm a little bit surprised that Paulinho, who was kind of the the big revel, uh, re revelation after the first half of the season. I mean, he had a great game uh, in Madrid against Real Madrid. That he's going back to China. And yeah, you have now Arturo Vidal, which will give you some bite in the midfield, but he's not a Barcelona player. Honestly, I don't think, I don't feel him. Yeah, I thought it's a curious acquisition from Barcelona. And then, so, I don't know, there's something a little bit unconvincing, at least for me at the moment, about Barcelona. Uh, if I would have to put money on it, I would still put my money on Barcelona of winning it. But I actually th like Atletico Madrid's chances. They already were close. Um, they kept Griezmann and yeah, we'll see. Uh, I like their defensive prowess and if they can get anything going on front, yep, I can see Atletico Madrid pulling another upset. Uh, more so than Real Madrid. Behind that, uh, the Spanish league behind the big three is usually a wide open thing and you never know who's gonna come. Uh, I really would like to see that the Spanish league opens up again a little bit. Um, a little bit like Italy that you know the Valencias and Sevillas and so on are a little bit closer to the top dogs. Um, but yeah, it's gonna happen in Bilbao, you know. Uh, they have quite some teams with big tradition, but La Liga benefits and suffers at the same time from having the probably the two biggest club teams in the world in their league. Speaking of Italy, um, yeah, who's gonna be in, win Serie A? I cannot see anyone but Juventus and I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Uh, but yeah, they made some smart moves. Uh, I'm afraid that Inter is probably the closest challenger and that's for me. I'd rather have Juventus than Inter. I'm a Milan fan too. I said it already. So yeah, but maybe for a change-up, I won't actually mind if Inter wins. Uh, Milan, I think they made a smart move and I like what the new owners are doing. Kind of, you know, getting a little bit... Um, former figureheads like Leonardo and especially Maldini back into management and you've got Tuzo, I mean those three played together uh, that could work well uh, also like that the owners of truck going wild in front of me also like that the new owners that yeah, the Chinese guy defaulted on his lawn so now the Elliot group took over uh, I actually committed, seemingly committed to Milan. I mean, I think they want to get their money's worth. They know that this is a big name team that has been struggling. So I guess they want to put this on solid footing, which is really, really, really needed. I like the young defense. I like Cotrone on front. I am very happy with the Caldara move. I was a little bit devastated that Bonucci was out, but then uh, as great as defender Bonucci, is I never thought that he's that great for he was that great at Milan. So yeah, and Iguain. I hope he makes his goal against the small opponents because that's actually what they probably need. Uh, but you know, I'd be happy if Milan finishes fourth. Honestly, uh, my expectations are not that much higher. I thought last last year they can make it into the top two. But no, I knew that they had some time to get used to each other. And yeah, then it's Napoli and Roma, both of which I would of course prefer uh, over 
Inter and uh, Juve. Um, Napoli has now Angelotti as a coach. Roma probably lost with Alisson to Liverpool. Um, a big asset, so I'm afraid that Roma won't go as far and I'm not sure about Napoli. Um, they really had a great season last year. They had Juventus right there with them and it just fell apart. Uh, I think at this point I only would hope that the Italian season is a little bit more open than it was in previous uh, previous seasons. Uh, at least last year until three games to go we had a title race and that was what made Serie A great and there was a lot of things that were yet to be decided so you didn't have many dead rubber games so you know there were things to play for. Um, yeah, that's my hope again for this year for Serie A. Uh, as you will see, there are many great shirts in Serie A this season, so that's something nice. Um, <laughs> by some, if there's some luck, I will get some of some lesser teams that I really, 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 really like. Well, and what do we have last? The Bundesliga. And the Bundesliga is same. Bayern, Bayern, Bayern. Um, Dortmund could threaten if Bayern is weak, and that basically says it all. Uh, I'm also, I think it's the, for the first time in a long time that Bayern doesn't have a world class coach. I don't rate Nico Kovac very highly, but you know, with this squad, you probably can win the league even with a few drops. I mean, I think it was last season when they were 10 points off the pace, I think, after 10 games or something, something like that, and they easily won the league. Um, and that's a little bit devastating. Um, of the other teams, who, who do I see? I mean, Dortmund is the obvious pick. Um, I guess Schalke. I guess Leipzig. But Leipzig is a little bit, I mean, they got a Hasenhüttl did not prolong his contract. And then, yeah, it's getting thin. Curious to see what Frankfurt will do. They, uh, Kovac was coaching Frankfurt to a, I think, top five finish. Uh, and now they have Hütter, a coach that is playing this fast paced Red Bull type of soccer that's actually quite exciting to watch. Uh, but I think it will take a while until this will take over. There is a lot of Austrian influence, so probably there will be some if I make this review of uh, German shirts, I probably will hear something Austrian, oh, there will be some Austria over here. Um, yeah, I would like that Bremen does something, uh, they are always a team that I enjoyed in Stuttgart of course, you know, Köln, Cologne is unfortunately not there anymore and yeah, the other teams, I frankly don't care that much anymore. Uh, for a really outsider <laughs> move Hertha because I know uh, the capital would deserve a great team for once but even when Hertha was all the way up in the standings they never played great so I don't think uh, it's gonna be anything there well there you have it I think it's not very exciting what I'm telling you um, but yeah I thought I'd share with you what I see ahead of club season, I will probably do something similar ahead when we can know more about the Champions League groups and the Champions League draw. Uh, and yeah, give me a thumbs up if you liked that video, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see my uh, reviews of the jerseys, my, a few of my jerseys and some ramblings like these that I have from time to time. And I surely will talk to you soon. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.